You know the expression, old home week? Uh, it's really resonating with me right now. My guest yesterday was from my hometown. Jason McCoy calls Minnesing, Ontario home, but he was born in Barrie, Ontario, where I did a wonderful seven years, mm -hmm. right there in the snow belt. Yes, and it is the snow belt for sure. That has never changed. There's that line, when you go up to 400, you just, boom, hit the snow. You can be in a blizzard out of nothing. Yep, <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. Still worth the drive. It is. And menacing ski country, is yeah, it? Well, yeah. I mean, compared to the hills out west, I mean, it's they're little wee hills, but we have you know Horseshoe, Snow Valley, all these different resorts around there, so it's nice. Now you've got a great story. Uh, picked up a guitar, didn't you? About five. Well, my dad had a guitar, and so he'd play a few chords. And I remember he played at you know weddings and things like that. He'd get up and and play a few songs, and I really looked up to him. And and then my uncle, he was also a player in a band, and. And so I really got serious probably when I was about 12. I really wanted to learn, you know? So there was always music around the house. You wrote your first song at 12. Well, yeah. I don't know that it was much of a song. But You're not I, still I singing it. It's not on an album <laughs> no, anywhere. No, it's not. Uh, it wasn't a real song. But uh, I started to, I, I looked at records and I wanted to see who, who recorded their own music, who was the writer, you know, all that kind of stuff. And the artists that wrote their own music attracted me more than the others. Now, I'm sure you're thankful that your parents decided to spend three years in Alberta. Yeah, when I was, my first memories are of Alberta because we moved out there when I was, I guess, four. And so we used to listen to country music and uh, that, was, that was it. I mean, I was wearing a cowboy hat and cowboy boots and I went to grade one out there and I remember coming back to Ontario wondering, why doesn't everybody wear cowboy boots and cowboy hats to school here? So it, it really left a mark on me. The cowboy culture got into your mm, soul. It did. Where did this take you? Well, I, I wanted to be a country singer and I thought there was no higher calling than to be, you know, famous or, <laughs> you know, uh, a singer or something like that. And I, I really, I really worship these guys, you know, everybody from George Jones to Johnny Cash. And, and, um, and so I was fortunate enough to, I took off when I was quite young and hit the road and got to see a lot of the world and uh, got to make a living out of this country music thing. And a lot of my dreams started coming true. I mean, I was recording records, touring, uh, winning awards, and I'll never forget, I guess uh, it was just about 2001 when we won Male Artist of the Year for the first time. I think you've skipped a couple too, well, haven't you? There, there's been things, but we've yeah. been very, very lucky. But Three SoCan Song of the Year awards. Yeah. Um, you would eventually rack up 19 CCMA nominations, five Juno nominations, all yeah. for best male country vocalist. Yeah, it's it's uh, um, it's been a great career. Where and, do you go and, from there? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to know, and uh, so I became uh, this this male artist of the year, got this award, and all these things I've been shooting for my whole life uh, basically happened at that moment. I thought, well, this is this is it. This is what you you win. Here's your prize, and it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It's wonderful to be recognized. But I was wanting to be famous just to be famous. And I didn't have my priorities right at all. And I was chasing this, this uh, really chasing my tail. And, and I just uh, live life in excess in all the ways that you'd think any, any uh, you've heard the stories many times, all musicians uh, uh, get tempted by these things. And I jumped right in. Fast and loose. All of it, yeah. And uh, it all came to a head one time. And uh, my wife, uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, Everything was was laid right out there, and and that was it. So we, uh, thankfully, Did she, she draw stuck. a line in the sand. She drew a big line, and mm -hmm. and I'm glad she stuck with me. Uh, and we we started to, um, well, we started to meet with this pastor who my grandmother had turned us on to. Thank God, grandmother's <laughs> watching. Grandmas. You see, Absolutely. you pray, you keep believing. Carry and on. and it, it was fantastic, and so. Uh, through all this counseling and, and uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of pain, but uh, we gave our hearts to Christ and, and then uh, at that very moment, nothing happened. But over the next weeks and months and then of course years, uh, been convicted by the Holy Spirit and living in a completely different way or trying to. And um, I gotta say, I'm still, you know, just, I'm always, every day is, is the next day, right? It's just take it day by day. We're all growing. Absolutely. So you, you say this pastor showed you who God was. Yeah, he really did. His name was George Cunningham, and uh, he was fantastic. And, and he, he 
a lot of times with, with Christianity, the, the problem are uh, people put their faith in people, which are people. And uh, he showed us to put our faith in Christ and not Christians. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and because uh, we're all flawed. And um, better to bank on the one who never changed. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so he, he, was, uh, he was a wonderful mentor and uh, he had, had come to Christ in a similar manner. So it was, uh, it was an interesting, interesting walk. And for me, I, I've just been, uh, been so blessed uh, and didn't realize all these things that I had of value that weren't of the world. And so now when, when I go to do something, it's, you know, do everything as if working for the Lord. And uh, somet so sometimes enjoy, I get it right. <laughs> you can enjoy your success. Well. Because it's not yeah, Well, the biggest everything. joy, well, I have two kids now and, and my wife. And, and so I have Grace who's uh, six and Caleb who's three. And, mm -hmm. and whether, whether I have a job in music or I don't, those things can come and go. But, but um, you know, my joy is, is in the Lord. It's not in, in the world. Mm -hmm. And at least that's, that's how I try to be. But it, it's very hard. Jason, you spend a lot of time in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, I've said this with one of our recent country singing guests. Uh -huh. God and country music, they really go together quite happily. Yeah, yeah. Um, how much of real faith do you rub shoulders with when you're there? It's, uh, well, it's again, it's person to person. And um, that's where, you know, I, I've always, uh, it, it was hard for me to become a Christian because I'd, I'd been... Uh, I'd seen the hypocrisy of, of other people and uh, does a lot of damage to the kingdom when you see somebody who's talking the talk but they don't walk the walk. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so that's where I have to be very careful because I still stumble at times like everybody does. But um, I had to realize that, you know, we're, we're forgiven. We're not, uh, we're certainly not perfect by any stretch. And, um, and so the whole opportunity of grace was magnified to me, and that's actually why we call her daughter Grace, because um, you know, she's he, uh, an undeserved love for sure. You said Grace is six, Caleb three. Caleb three. And it seems in everything I read, family, you're, what are you looking forward to most with your family? Oh my gosh, just seeing, seeing them grow. Uh, I just want to see them, them grow up and be healthy and happy you know, like any parent does. And special at and Christmas? Absolutely. What, yeah. what, what's uh, your highlight? Oh, highlight is just uh, actually shutting down you know, unplugging everything and just being, being alone, being with the kids. Well, it's lovely to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Uh, you're so close. Uh, yes. But it's time we close the gap. Glad Absolutely. you're here today. Yes. Well, you finally. Sing for us. Watching on TV for all this time, and now I get to. Even in get the old days. Not the old days. <laughs> we're, too, we're too young. 